Hi. So unless you've been living in Iraq over the past few years, you've probably become familiar with these terms. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Blockchain, Cryptocurrencies, ICOs. But today, I want to take the opportunity to introduce you to a new one, Hashgraph. So what is Hashgraph, you ask? It's a new consensus-based algorithm that provides a better platform for distributed consensus. It offers the same benefits as the popular blockchain and other distributed technologies. However, it's a data structure and consensus algorithm that is allegedly much faster, fairer, and more secure than its predecessors. So at its core, Hashgraph is powered by the Gossip Protocol. Gossip is a well-known computer science term, which can be defined as calling any random node and telling that node everything that you know and that you don't know. Hashgraph uses Gossip, obtained by the other nodes within a network, and adds a small amount of information to be passed on or gossiped to the other nodes. Using this information, a hash graph or ledger can be built off the gossip and constantly updated as more information is gossiped by each node. Oh my god, that was a mouthful, but what this equates to are some of the benefits of hash graph. It's much faster. Hash graph allegedly can process 250,000 transactions per second, whereas we take Bitcoin, it's only limited to about seven transactions per second. It's also more fair. There's no proof of work, meaning there's no need for miners and no one choosing the order of the transactions that go into the hash graph. This also means that it's more efficient. No proof of work eliminates the need for massive computational power by those miners. And it's also more secure. No member can prevent the community from ever reaching consensus, nor reverse the consensus once it's been achieved. So who's behind Hashgraph? Well, it's created by Dr. Lehman Baird, alongside Mads Harmon, who are both the co-founders of Swirls, the company that holds the patent to Hashgraph technology. Let me just say, both these guys have pretty impressive backgrounds in computer science and tech entrepreneurship, and they've also been joined by an equally decorated team. The company recently closed on a 3 million seed investment sponsored by New Enterprise Associates, which we can only assume will go to further develop and market the technology. So right now, Hashgraph is only available to private permissioned networks. However, we've begun to see the technology hit the mainstream. Recently, Swirls sponsored a hackathon at TechCrunch Disrupt, where the winner developed a distributed auction platform using the technology. Further, it was also announced that the Credit Union National Association had selected Hashgraph to power its CU ledger, which is basically a permission ledger for credit unions across the United States. And there's also been rumors that other consortiums are being developed outside of financial services to include other large global enterprises. That's it. That was a quick introduction to Hashgraph. If you want to stay on top of the news and developments, I highly recommend that you join the Telegram channel. I'll leave a link down below. And lastly, if you like this video and want to see more, like and subscribe to my channel, The Gossip Guy, as we gossip about a world powered by Hashgraph. Thanks for watching.